Hey, movers and shakers, welcome to another great, exciting episode of the Seven Figure Moving Academy. Behind me, on this board and all this mess, I explain to you how much you're going to need to charge for your hourly moves. Whether it's two guys, three guys, four guys, whatever, you can actually use this formula to figure out how much you need to charge per hour that makes you profit and makes you profitable and successful. Would you like to know this information? Stay tuned. All right, let's go to the board. So we're going to figure out how much to charge for your moves right now here in 2022. So let's get into it. Let's get this erased and get into it. All right. All right, so let's get off with some ground rules. So, as you know, a lot of times I tell you that your payroll can't be more than 30%, around 30, 35%, no more than 40. So let's go with the ideal scene, 30%, right? So when you do mathematics, you go 0.3, that's 30%, okay? So here's the formula. It's going to be your hourly hourly pay so hourly pay right divided by how much you need to pay so the 30 percent you don't want payroll to be more than 30 percent so divided by 30 percent right you can put a little zero if that makes it easier for you right now then what you're going to do is you're going to times that by workman's comp. Workman's comp, right? Typically, workman's comp is 15%. So keep that in mind. 15% for workman's comp if you're doing this right. This will equally your hourly charge. That's how much you're going to end up charging for your services. So this is the mathematical formula to figure out how much you're going to charge per hour for two men in a guy, two two guys in a truck, three men in a truck, four men in a truck, etc. This is how much you need to use to figure out. So you can do the hourly charge. So if it's three guys, so let's do it. So one guy, he's going to get thirteen dollars, right? The next guy, he's getting fifteen dollars, and the third guy, he's getting seventeen dollars. This is $45. So we're going to use $45, right? So $45 divided by 0.3 times workman's comp will give us our hourly charge. So let's do this. So 45 divided. So you do this one here. That's going to be 150. Right? Times 15. Right? So we're going to times that. We're going to add that. So that's going to be 6.25. Right? So we times it. Gives us $156 and some pennies here. Like 57 or something like that. I don't know what it is, but there is an adage that we follow in marketing and you want whole numbers. So you don't want to use decimal points at all. Get rid of the decimal and then you're going to use a whole figure. But when you do a charge, there, it is statistically proven that if the whole number ends in either a seven or a nine, you'll get more sales. So. In this thing, for three men with a truck, is $156 and some pennies, right? So we're going to round that up to either $157 or $159 for three guys and a truck. So that's how much you need to charge for three men and a truck, right? Now... 
You could do the same thing for two guys. So hypothetically, let's say we get rid of this right here. And each guy is going to get 15 bucks. Right? So $15. So that's going to give you two guys is $30. So if we're using this, it's going to be $40. Sorry, $30. Divided by 0.3. And that's going to be $100. $100 times 15%, you get that number, and that comes up with your two hourly, your hourly charge for two guys. So, and, or you could do it for four guys. All you need to do really is this hourly price. So your hourly price is how, how many guys, how much are going to get paid, right? So that, that's how you figure that out. And that figures out how much you need to be charging for two guys, three guys, four guys in a truck. If it's two trucks, you can adjust that a little bit with a truck fee, right? But this is, this is right here, is your formula. The hourly pay times 30%. Now, if you want to use 35% so or 40%, you could do that, but do not go above 40%. And if that's if that's the case, all you need to do is just just put a four there for forty percent, right? Right times your workman's comp, whatever that is. So it's fifteen percent per hour, whatever your workman comp comes out to for your guys. That's what you're going to use. So this might be your workman's comp figure might be more than fifteen percent or might be less. You're going to use your workman's comp figure, right? Now, in the description below, down in, down, sorry, not in the description, but in the, the comment, the first pinned comment, I've got an actual worksheet here. I'm going to give that to you absolutely 100% for free. No credit card, no email. All you need to do is click the link into the first pinned comment and you'll be able to download my free PDF that's going to explain this entire formula to you plus a little bit more. So if that's what if you want that and you want something for your records, all you need to do is go to the first pin comment and just click the link. Nothing more. I don't want anything for him. Not going to not selling you anything. How So if that's what you want, you can go and do that. But this is how you figure out your hourly charge for your moving business to make sure that you are 100% profitable, making money and going to be successful. No other person's going to give you this formula. You're only going to find that here. Not a, none of these other gurus or mentors will teach you this formula. Right? None of them. They'll allude to it. They'll just, they'll kind of talk around it. But no one's going to do it. Only me. I'm the only one that's going to do this formula for you. So you can only get it here. And it's right here. Free. Right here on YouTube. And if you want a little bit more information that goes in a little bit more in depth, that gives you a little bit more ideas and examples, go to the first pin comment, the first pin comment, and download that free PDF. No credit card, no email, just download it. Now, I will have to say that you will need a Google account for this to do it, right? So when you download it, you will need a Google account because it is, it is stored in Google, in my Google Drive. So... For you to be able to download and access it, you will need a Google account. So if you don't have a Google account, go get a free Google account for your moving business or for yourself or whatever. And then you can, you have access to it. You can download this easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, guys, hopefully you learned something from this. Hopefully this was some great information for you. I, I, I'm going to strive to do a little bit more trainings like this to give you more demonstration because I know that's what you guys are longing for instead of these talking head tutorials. So if you like this, tell me about it. Leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps the algorithm, helps me get bigger and better. And that makes me, it validates me more. Tell me what you want to hear, what you want to know, what you want to learn. And that way I can give it to you. Otherwise, I'm guessing, right? That's all I'm asking. Help me by helping you help me or something like that. You get the idea. So, guys, hopefully you like this. 
Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to hear. Or if this was actually very helpful or not, or, or if you want to add to it or whatever, feel free. And then make sure if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. I like you. I love you. Go and do something great today.